All right, well, welcome to this segment here. Uh, this is kind of our sports set. Um, and I'm with Asante Easter. He's the new head coach for Littleton Varsity Football. Asante, welcome to Littleton. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming on. How do you like Alumni Field? The view from here is pretty nice, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we wanted to have you on the show to, um, you know, let people see who you are and where you come from and some of the uh, strategies for the season coming up and what you hope to accomplish and, and just to uh, kind of meet you. I appreciate you having yeah. me. Yeah, it's great to have you here in Littleton. Um, let's start off with a little bit about you, like your background. Where do you come from? Where were you born? You know, how did you find Littleton? Uh, I was born in uh, Queens, New York. Uh, I lived there uh, until I was about three years old. I moved to Brockton, Massachusetts. Uh, I did most of my uh, growing there, I guess you could say. Uh, and then I moved to Taunton um, uh, right before high school. So I think uh, 13, 14 years old that summer. Uh, and then spent my high school years there. Uh, played football at Fitchburg State. State yes, Criminal go Justice Falcons. <laughs> you can go, go Falcons. Um, and then uh, I got out of coaching at Fitchburg State after four seasons. Uh, I coached at St. Peter Marion in Worcester, which became uh, St. Paul's. They merged with Holy Name. Uh, and then I found Littleton. It's actually kind of funny because there's a group of guys in Littleton that I've been playing basketball with uh, for a few years, maybe three, four years, and I've always been in, in and around the area, and now it's uh, my second home, I guess. Right. Yeah. And, of course, Littleton played uh, St. Uh, Marion, St. Paul's, St. Yep. Marion, whatever yeah. it's called now. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, that was a great game. It was at uh, the Worcester Woo Cats yeah, Park. Woo Sox. Yeah, yeah. Woo Sox and uh, <laughs> Polar Park. First game ever, I guess, to yes, high was, school football. It was the first game. There was uh, well, maybe four games that day, and uh, we had the first one. So yeah. It was nice to uh, serenade the field. Yeah, was, and you just barely squeaked out a win, I guess. Yeah, we did. It was a close game. It was fun, competitive both ways. Uh, it was an exciting game. It's a little like experience. Johnny Damon when he went to the Yankees, you know, after being with the Red Sox. Now yeah. you're with Littleton, you know. Can't relate. I'm a Yankee <laughs> So. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got right. Me there. <laughs> I got you there. Uh, being from uh, originally from New York, you're not a Yankees fan or anything, are uh, you? I'm a big time Yankees fan. Oh, well, we'll have to I don't forgive you for that. that. No Jets, uh, no Giants, or as I like to say, the Midgets. <laughs> right. I'm an Eagles fan. So. Ah, Eagles. Yeah. Very good. Yep. Good. Well, I, and a Littleton Tiger fan now. Yes, definitely. Excellent. All right. Well, good. Uh, I also went to Fitchburg State. You were a defensive back there, right? Yes, I was. So tell me, um, first year as a head coach in Littleton, is your scheme kind of defensive built or is it offense or a little bit of both? So I am actually going to be taking over the offense this year. Um, the past few years, uh, just my maturation process coaching-wise, uh, I was paired with the former offense coordinator at Fitchburg State. Um, and just learning underneath him, Mike Donovan, mm -hmm. um, just learned a ton. And uh, with COVID uh, being a, a thing these past couple of years, uh, being able to have the extra time to dive into it more, and uh, I'm going to take my shot at that side of the ball. Oh, great. But I definitely have, still have a hands-on approach on the defensive side. Well, over the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years, Littleton's really been an offensive club. Yeah. Um, defense has not been... Uh, a strong point just more or less outscore the opponent and I wondered with you having a defensive background that a little bit more emphasis might be placed on no, defense. We'll definitely have a, a big emphasis on that side of the ball. Uh, I think the biggest thing I'm preaching to the kids um, is IQ on, on that just overall but uh, specifically on defense so just getting to know them uh, learning that they're a little bit further uh, behind like you mentioned on that side of the ball and um, getting to understand the ins and outs of the games and uh, not just where to be at a certain time and understand the why behind behind it all. Okay. So I, I have to address, like I said uh, before we came on to tape, the elephant in the room, which is you're replacing the legend, Mike Lynn, <laughs> yeah. uh, who had 150 wins. His last win uh, was his 150th for Littleton. And uh, just an incredible career. Uh, at one point, they had 13 straight playoff appearances. He brought the very first Super Bowl title to Littleton, uh, very first state title of any kind mm -hmm. for the Littleton uh, in football. And, um, you know, that must, does that weigh on you at all? Or is it, do you feel any pressure or that? Or has he 
you know, I'm sure you've met with him, and he's probably just said, "Hey, this is your club now." You know. Yeah, no, Mike's a, a great guy. I um, think being a obviously a first year head coach and having that former head coach as your athletic director, uh, definitely in the last since April, uh, giving me great guidance uh, since then on things I need to do to get started and just ideas and tips and um, different, I don't know, type of uh, cues to, to get going and have a successful start. Uh, uh, pressure, I, I, don't, I don't think I, I feel the pressure uh, Good. to live up to, uh, I guess, his um, resume. Uh, mm. I think I'm going to uh, attack it in my, in my own way. And uh, we have different styles of coaching, different philosophies, but uh, the end goal is the same. That's great. Um, so most of the other uh, coaches that were with him over the years also have either retired or gone on to other positions. So who, um, who's coming in to, to be the assistants this year? All right, so my staff, uh, my defense coordinator will be Justin Leonard. Uh, he has experience most recently coaching at North Middlesex. Uh, he spent a few years up in uh, Kipping, New Hampshire, and uh, quite a few years out in Arizona, and he played football at uh, uh, SUNY School up in uh, New York. I'm slipping my mind. It's right okay. Now. It'll come to you 2 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Who else you got? Uh, my uh, linebackers and defensive backs coach will be Bobby A. Bear. Uh, from, I've just met him recently, but from what I've uh, heard, he's a local legend, Acton Boxborough. Uh, I think he's one of the leading rushers in state history. Uh, he played football at Yale University, played inside linebacker there, um, and he had a little uh, cup of coffee with the Chiefs, too. So, wow. A lot of experience there. Wow, that's great. Um, well, tell me about this, uh, besides coaching, uh, what else do you like to do? Uh, besides coaching, I think you saw it today. Uh, I came in on my uh, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I love riding, uh, especially I think maybe the last week or so. It's just cooled off a bit, so it's been nice uh, not sweating out there while you're riding. Uh, in the winter, I love to snowboard. And uh, I think I mentioned earlier with the, the group of guys that I actually have known for Littleton from a few years. Mm -hmm. I love playing basketball. That's actually my favorite sport. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you play at the outdoor court here in Littleton? Yeah, we play over at uh, Castle in the Trees. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. It's a really nice course. There. Is, that, actually, I notice a lot of people from out of town come in to, because it's one of the, it's usually available, for yeah. one, and it's just a nice course. Yeah, it is nice, nice court, rather. Um, and you also have uh, your co-owner of a company called yes. Higher Expectations. Yes. Tell me what that's all this about. It's a company that uh, myself and my teammate and slash roommate, uh, we started in college. Um, we just kind of had this idea of, hey, we want to give back somehow to um, the athletes that are coming up at Fitchburg State and just in the area uh, to kind of have that guidance um, that we didn't have growing up. Um, I think as we graduated from Fitchburg and we met other guys that may have played at higher division levels or played at different schools, we, re we realized that, hey, if we might have had some, some guidance here or there uh, during our high school years or younger years, not that Fitchburg State's a bad thing, but hey, maybe we might have, might have, might have ended up at a bigger school, maybe a uh, possibility to get our education paid for, things like that. Um, so we really just wanted to uh, give back um, to some local athletes, mm. um, help the athletes that were at Fitchburg State at the time uh, progress with their uh, skill level. And this kind of just uh, blossomed where uh, we work with athletes now in central Massachusetts all the way I think I have some athletes out in Menden and Upton. It's pretty far out yeah, there. At least yeah. for me, it's far out Right, yeah, no, it is <laughs> for us too. There. Um, and then our other partner that, that came on maybe a year or so after uh, myself and Trayvon Neal started, Jordan Elmore, he now has opened his own facility out in Springfield, Massachusetts. Mm. Uh, he focuses on basketball where myself and Trayvon focus on football. Great. He's doing great things out there. And how many years have you been doing this? It's been since 2017. Wow, so, yeah. wow, that's great. That's great. Um, so tell me about the, uh, as far as the, uh, your education, I know that for Fitchburg State you were a criminal justice major, yeah. but uh, you've kind of switched into education now? Yeah, uh, so I was a criminal justice major and it's funny, I mentioned earlier Mike Donovan, uh, he said, hey, what are you going to do for work? Uh, I was coaching at Fitchburg State, and, you know, that coaching demand, you kind of need a, a schedule that will allow you to, to meet that demand. Mm -hmm. um, so working in a school is perfect schedule. You're out around two, three o'clock, practice starting around three, four o'clock. Uh, so I ended up in, in the school system that way and I've uh, kind of just stayed there and fallen in love with it. 
Very nice. It's, it's, it's very similar to coaching, just, it, just in the classroom instead of on the field. Yeah, and you kind of get a pulse of the what kids are thinking these days. And yeah. I know you're the middle school age, right? Yes. So it's a little different, but little bit, yeah. um, that's great. It helped to mold the young minds and and shape futures and stuff. And yes. not only that, but you know, you're doing that in school, but also with your business on the side. That's great. Yes. I really uh, think that's honorable. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so the other thing is uh, this year, uh, you know, uh, at Alumni the Field, your first two scrimmages are there, and then your first three home games are at Alumni. So that's good that you're going to get a real good taste of home cooking to start off the season. It probably makes you feel good. No, it is. Uh, it's kind of given me some, uh, I guess, uh, some comfortability uh, being able to start there, stay there with the scrimmages. Um, our first scrimmage is more of a joint practice-esque type of scrimmage but sure. the second one is more of a game scrimmage uh, and then we have that three game home uh, home game stand to start the start the season yeah and, uh, I've checked out some uh some of your streams on youtube oh yeah yeah lc I, uh, tv will be there i see the get some uh, good crowd out there yeah good fans some good community support so i'm looking forward to it yeah it's uh, not a lot to do here in littleton <laughs> on a friday night so <laughs> you're going to get a lot of uh support a lot of people coming out to see the games um, when do you get to meet the kids? Because I know you mentioned that Friday the 19th is your first practice. Yes. Uh, so I've, I met the kids back in April, uh, around April, April vacation, uh, right before, I believe. Um, and off and on, I've been out uh, through the, in the school uh, throughout the end of the school year, whether I'm working in Fitchburg. So if we have a day off depending on how the school calendar works so going for the day or we had a professional development day that was half day of coming for the second half in littleton and mm -hmm. getting to know them but a big part of it has been our uh, off-season workout program uh, that we started up once school ended uh, we've been working monday wednesday and fridays we've been in the weight room uh saturdays we've been uh, doing some speed and agility work down in alumni and sundays we've been participating in a seven on seven passing league slash uh, lineman training down okay. in uh, fitchburg at st bernard's high school oh st so bernard's so. okay i know they've done that in the past maybe in acton or sudbury yeah, or, or something yeah somewhere in the area yeah. yeah that really helps out a lot it does especially the first year you know getting to know the guys uh seeing what type of skill sets they have um mm. what abilities um they possess and who can do what how i can coach them how to coach each person because you know some guys, hey, they might be raw, raw. Some guys, hey, you got to take them to the side and, uh, you know, speak to them quietly. And that's mm -hmm. how they are, are more receptive. So just getting to learn the guys and their abilities, it's been great. And that's great. I'm ready to get started this week. Awesome. Do you uh, know how many kids have signed up to come out for the team? Right now, uh, we use a, a Blast. Uh, it's an application on our phone. It's communication. Right now, we have 37 signed up. I know uh, some upperclassmen, some freshmen, they say, hey, this guy might play, this guy might play. But... Right now, I'm counting 37 and hoping to, uh, to be around 40 for the season, have some stragglers come in. Right. Yeah. That's great. Well, I can tell you that uh, I'm so excited for the season to start. Um, I love football season. The air this morning kind of had that <laughs> fall smell to it. I don't know. I mean, you get all pumped up when it's football season. Yeah, the past few days definitely has. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I wish you all the success you know, and longevity here in Littleton. Uh, I know that you've got at least one fan. That's me. <laughs> and, um, and we'll be at the games covering, uh, you know, all the games. And anything we can do to help you out, too, let me know. Because we'd love to, you know, help out and just be a support of, of Littleton uh, football. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So very nice. Right. Thank you. To me nice to meet you. Definitely. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank so you. there you go. The first uh, home game I wrote down is against North Middlesex, yep. September 9th. That's a Friday night. Uh, we hope that you can come out and support Littleton High School football. Coach Easter will be there, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll hope to see you there, too. So thanks. Thank you.